G'day, my name's Terry Robinson and I'm from ScanHub. Today, uh, this little tutorial, I'd just like to show you how we're um, measuring up uh, inside a, a scan for a rather large house. Uh, it's a three level house, but this particular scan that we're looking at at the moment is just on one outside portion called the Teppanyaki Bar. So we're going to go through this. We're looking at a point cloud here uh, in this particular instance, and I'm just going to go through and uh, explain to you uh, how 3D laser scanning can benefit uh, designers and architects uh, in the uh, the whole process of um, of measuring up and uh, taking uh, modifications um, to a design phase and uh, get it right first time. Uh, I'm now going to operate the limit box to um, basically clip part of the house, uh, the Teppanyaki bar away. I'm going to rotate down in here and I'm going to zoom in and do a measurement. As you can see, there's already one measurement there that's taken place between the bench top and the uh, underside of the range hood. I'll demonstrate that again by doing it again. So we'll do a distance measurement. <clears throat> we'll use the surface to pick the surface of the uh, bench top. And then I'll come up here and then pick the underside surface of the, um, uh, of the range hood. And as you can see here, uh, there's one millimetre difference between these two measurements. Um, there's usually a variable variability of, of a millimetre, which is pretty good. Uh, overall, we can get generally one millimetre accuracy, plus or minus one millimetre, with the, the laser scanner in uh, distances up to 20 metres. The, the scanners have a, 200, a 300 metre range in any case, but we normally use um, multiple scan overlaps. These uh, balls you see here are the mirror balls for the uh, scanner to show the scanner position. So if I look in 3D here, you'll see that there's two scanner positions uh, near the table here and then one more in the doorway to an ante room at the back there. Um, if I click on uh, one of these mirror balls, you'll see a photo come up. And this is the actual photography that the scanner captures. And as you can see here, we can measure, we can measure in uh, great detail. So basically anywhere, any, any point to any other point, we can measure in in detail to one millimetre. So by taking the scans just in this location, there were three scans only taken, uh, we can measure with great accuracy. I can continue to measure now um, with, um, um, with the uh, mirror mode here. So I, as you can see, it's picking up a plane. I can then uh, pick up the plane and I need enough detail um, it's showing red there, but when I, when I get a little bit of yellow, there's the scan didn't quite pick up the top of the surface properly. So there we go. So we're, we're going to pick up here and we're going to come up and pick up the underside of this, um, this area here. And, uh, we're going to... measure underneath there. So you can see there's a little bit of difference between the two and that's probably the difference you're going to actually see um, in actual real life, um, those measurements. Um, you'll notice as, the, uh, as we scan around here, uh, all the measurements stay pointing at the operator viewer. Um, we can also see over here, we can uh, go to a different scan position and look from a different angle. So this is the scanner that's actually um, looking uh, into the, the um, ante room there, the toilet and bathroom facility. And if we come back out here, we can see the, um, the bench top of the te Teppanyaki bar, and then we can see out to the uh, outside here. Obviously the outside light is very bright, so you know it's obviously gonna flare out. You, now you can see our ortho measurements up here uh, that we've taken previously, visible in, in, um, in pointing towards the view that you're actually looking at at the time. If I go to a 3D view now, it'll basically morph straight back to the 3D view. Uh, this will allow me to then zoom back out and then completely zoom around the, um, the room. And I can, I can look at this room in every angle, any angle that I choose. Um, I can come back, uh, zoom out again, uh, go to the limit box, edit the limit box, and uh, uh, Go back out to where uh, where I've cut some of the data out temporarily with the limit box, and uh, now I have a, a full of scene of this particular room. So by doing the using the limit box like this, we just give ourselves the ability to um, 
chop parts of the the uh, the walls off, for instance, if we don't want walls in place, so we can uh, see what we're doing. And uh, and there we got we've got a doll's house view of this uh, teppanyaki bar. Um, but if you want to see everything in the bar, we can basically come back out and go back to the limit box and bring this back out to an appropriate point. Um, here we go again. So if we want to actually go this way, we can cut through and we can look at the detail from a completely other angle and you'll see here that if we zoom in here, we have our measurements still visible. And you, as you can see here, we can look at um, we can look at great detail um, of this little particular room. And this was done with just three scans that took took 15 minutes or 20 minutes to actually take.